Hello everyone, welcome to another fan to play fantasy match review. This is for the game that's going to be happening at the Optus between the Scorchers and the Renegades. And we have Nikhil Bhai with us today to give you more insights on that and what he feels about the combination that you can make for this one. Bilkul, thank you so much for having me. Last few games decent guy, so hope karenge ke aage bhi aisa jai. Form se karenge, 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 so we are trying to make our base team accordingly nikhil bhai any thoughts on whether you expect more of the same or you expect a little bit of a slow slow nature of the pitch because the season has gone towards this latter half no i think generally generally they are able to maintain that uh, help for pacers which i don't think will change kyunki wo unka that's the basic nature of the surface jaise hum scg ke liye bolte hai ki aap kitna bhi fresh kar lo thodi to phir bhi pitch assist kar dete hai spin ko so that is something uh, that i don't think should change a lot or agar hota hai to hopefully we are informed in time so uh, otherwise i still think the usage will still be the more pacers hmm. aur spin ke liye aap dekhen to option itna zyada waise quality ke hai nahi jo consistently chale is saal bbl mein so uh, in that sense i think pacers are the ones who will continue to dominate yes fair enough so on that note let's look at the base team for this game So first up in the keeping section we have gone with Sam Harper and Josh Inglis while in the batting we have gone with the reliable options in Aaron Finch and Cameron Bancroft both of whom have been delivering consistently Nikhil bhai any thoughts on all the other batters the likes of Ashton Turner do you see an early dismissal because Kane Richardson is not available for this game so Renegades are actually going to be playing a very inexperienced pace attack Tom Rogers is the only experienced guy Nikhil bhai do you see Bancroft having an early dismissal and Turner coming into the game or that's too much to ask for and Bancroft will probably just play out the experienced pace up Yeah dekho uh, common sense so yahi bolta hai ki Perth generally have been very tactically astute as well in hmm. terms of how they've gone about the games aap dekho Hardy consistently acha score kar raha hai तो ऐसा नहीं है कि वो रन नहीं बना रहे दैट बीन लॉ ऑफ एवरेज कैचिंग ऑफ दिंग तो आई होप दे आर स्मार्ट इनफ टू अंडरस्टैंड दैट ओके एक ही की पेसर है अब और दूसरा देखो जय माता दी तो कोई भी बोलर कर सकता है दैट इज समथिंग दैट्स बियॉन्ड योर कंट्रोल एंड विथ टर्नर आई थिंक हमने पिछले कुछ गेम्स में देखा उनका रोल ही कम हो गया थोड़ा तो आई स्टिल थिंक उनका रोल वापिस आ जाएगा दे विल बी वन गेम वेर ही विल बी नीडेड फॉर श्योर पर आई थिंक दैट माइट कम मोर ऑल्सो वेन दे आर बैटिंग फर्स्ट मे बी जब Hardy or Bancroft may have to take that extra risk to uh, if uh, Renegades bowl that well. So I'm sure teams may have to definitely rack that too. But I'm expecting Bancroft, Hardy as of now to do the job, assuming they bowl first and then they have to chase a normal score. So now I'm going to that angle. If they bowl first and batting, then definitely you can take a risk on Bancroft and expect that they turn or that they have more batting. Aja. Yes fair enough in the all rounders we have gone with Will Sutherland and Aaron Hardy keep in mind that Will Sutherland will be most likely the second pacer for the team with Rogers being the first and is a good chance that he should be bowling at the dead too so that will increase his value while in the bowling we have gone for the four scorcher spacers in Lance Jason Berendorf was expected to come back in this game Andrew Tai and David Payne who bowled when in the last one too and Tom Rogers like we mentioned will be their first pacer For any gate, when you look at the pace options, the most likely guy to come in as the third pacer would be David Moody. But Jack Presswich also has a decent chance. But Moody has played two games already this year, so the likely one to come in would be him. Yes, common sense. आपको ये बोलता है कि ये होना चाहिए. इसके बाद अगर कुछ change होता है, तो आप ये देखना कि change क्यों किया गया है. And if you can get any information on who is going to be used in what sense, 
जैसे रहने के जब टॉक्ड अलॉट अबाउट यूजिंग क्रिचली बट उनको यूज नहीं किया गया तो दैट हैज कॉस्ट मी अलॉट ऑफ ग्रैंडिक कॉम्बिनेशन क्योंकि यूसेज नहीं हुआ है एंड इज नॉट लुक्ड इन दैट मच फॉर्म तो अभी मैंने बोल दिया है तो होपफुली थ्री फोर इज अराउंड द कॉर्नर बट अदरवाइज आई थिंक दिस शुड बी योर बेस कैलिटन फॉर द गेम रिस्क लेवल में कहूँगा मीडियम है और गेम uh, टाइप अभी क्योंकि अ लॉट ऑफ थिंग्स आर बीइंग एक्सपेरिमेंटेड एवरीवेयर तो आई स्टिल से यू कैन प्रोबेबली लुक फॉर प्लेइंग एस एल हेयर प्योरली फ्रॉम द एंगल ऑफ कंडीशन और रिलीजियस तो बिल्कुल खेलने चाहिए और कॉम्बिनेशन पे वेरियंस विल एड अलॉट मोर टू इट Yes, so like you know, a lot of changes across other apps, and you'll see a lot of crazy combinations, which will make it more difficult to crack a GL. But it'll also mean that people will use a little less common sense while making their small league teams. And the first few days, there will be a sway of people carried away by the new options. But that does not change the fact that batters will sk- still score runs and bowlers will still take wickets. So both sides will still be in the game equally. and that's why we feel like such a combination will be handy for you irrespective of where you're playing but the key point for you to keep in mind is that when you're playing small leagues you still don't want to come out against an opponent who's come 10-1 against you because then in that case if that the team from where he selected 10 has a crazy day out like 15 all out for the bowling team and he has 10 from the bowling team then it does not help you so ensure that you're playing on apps that are keeping that uh, common sense aspect in mind and are you are able to maintain that balance and one or two players are not screwing it up for you so yes that's why we feel like it might be a good day for you to try and play a few good small leagues on fan to play and on that note now let's look at the grand league options for this game go for it sir फ्यू तो अब देखो पर्थ का गेम है तो बोलर तो हमने सब बात कर ही ली है एक मैथ केले को बेस में नहीं लिया था तो अगेन ही आई थिंक बिकम्स अ वेरी ऑब्वियस चॉइस फॉर यू टू ट्राई आउट हेड टू एंड में जो दो बेस्ट बोलर है टाय रिचर्डसन जिसमें से रिचर्डसन खेल नहीं रहे तो ही इज दैट एक्चुअली जस्ट आई थिंक पोटेंशियली इंक्रीज द वैल्यू ऑफ सदरलैंड तो सदरलैंड एक पहले मेरे ग्रैंड लिक पिक होंगे अगेन आई डोंट थिंक इट्स अ ग्रैंड लिक पिक ऑफ सर्च बट रोल उनका एलिवेट हो जाता है फैंटेसी पोटेंशियल एलिवेट हो जाता है एंड आई ऑल्सो फील उनकी बैटिंग काफी नीचे आ रही तो इफ इज यूज एट द राइट स्पॉट अ बिट मोर हायर आई थिंक ही कैन एड अ लॉक मोर वैल्यू पिछले गेम में भी ही हैड अ हैंड इन नॉक लर टुवर्ड्स द एंड तो यू माइट एज वेल वांट टू यूज सच गाइस अप टॉप एंड मेक द मोस्ट ऑफ दैट और क्योंकि उनकी जो लेंथ है वो भी स्टेडियम को सूट तो करेगी तो आई थिंक विल सदर एंड बिकम्स अ हैंडी ऑप्शन टू ट्राई फ्रॉम द रेनेगेट्स फ्रॉम स्कॉचर्स ऑब्वियसली यू विल हैव All the patients who will be good. Their end of I think is coming back, so we'll be a good vehicle. Uh, I'm sure people will try. You have met Kelly. Batting me. If you want to go to anyone, then uh, you have Turner. So I think there are a lot of different options that you have to try and grandly options. Yes, fair enough. Uh, my calls for this game. So from uh, the Scorchers, I'm going with Lance Morris as captaincy or vice captaincy choice. Lance Morris, if he's bowling second, David Payne, if he's bowling first, one of these two, because we know that there is a left arm threat for many of the Renegades batters. While well, if they bowl second, and we know that it's difficult for t- batting teams to chase here, Lance Morris's pace or the at the deck. Will be helpful uh, against the kind of batters that Renegades have because many many of them are old and slow on reflexes. That pace will rattle a few of them. So that's the pick from the Scorchers. One of the two, whoever is bowling first or second, you know both the choices. And uh, the pick from the Renegades, provided again they're defending, is David Moody because again I feel like that length will play a big big role here. And I'm sure that when you take three wickets in one game and then get dropped, it does not. help your confidence too much so hopefully he'll be wanting to prove a point too hence these are the two picks totally condition based and uh, the first set of picks being more for captaincy vice captaincy because they'll probably yeah. be in everyone's team anyway bilkul to you see ek aisa difference aapko dikhta hai ki jaise jaise tournament aage badhta hai aapke grand league pick zyada random nahi hote they are still more uh, probably part of many people's base team kyunki that is the bit about visualization aapne अगर उस प्लेयर को पहले परफॉर्म करते देख लिया है तो फिर आप उसका पोटेंशियल अप एंड डाउन करते हो कि ओके okay, अगर आज ये बंदा नहीं खेल रहा है तो ही कैन डू मोर और दिस दिस पर्सन कैन डू मोर एज पर द कंडीशंस तो हर बार हम काफी दफा ये सोचते हैं कि यार ग्रैंडली के लिए कुछ एकदम अलग करने की जरूरत है बट 
समटाइम्स इट्स जस्ट बैकिंग योर विजुअलाइजेशन टू द फुलेस्ट जैसे हमने जस्ट टू टेक एन एग्जाम्पल एंड ओफ्रेड होपफुली नॉट पुटिंग मॉकर्स ऑन दैट जो एस ए ट्वेंटी का गेम हमने करा था वहाँ पे नोके विल जैक्स कहा था हमने कि इट विल बी अ गुड कॉम्बिनेशन टू ट्राई अब उस दिन वो परफेक्ट बैठ गया तो हर बार शायद ना बैठे बट द पॉइंट इज जिस दिन आपको लग रहा है कि ये बैठेगा उस दिन ट्राई करो और उसी के मल्टीपल कॉम्बिनेशन ट्राई करो क्योंकि देन दो आर द बेस्ट डेज टू ट्राई क्रैक ग्रैंडिक्स बिकॉज विजुअलाइजेशन सही रोज नहीं बैठता तो जब बैठता है यू शुड हैव द आवेश खान काइंड ऑफ गेम्स Yes, absolutely. So ensure that you make multiple teams participate in the fan to play leaderboard that is active. App link is in the description. Ensure you hit the bell icon before you leave and smash the like button. Have a great game and all the good luck to all of you. See you soon.